Fighting and Lucifer that I know. I live myself for policy and this is my story. I don't see teammates. I'm in a wheelchair and that's it. I have no reason to live. A cerebral palsy affected my life in two, in two ways. One, it's horrible. Cerebral palsy is a disability, yes. But you could come, you could, you could overcome the disability, meaning you, you can't be strong. I mean, you could be strong with cerebral palsy. You can't be weak. You can't be crying every day just because I'm in a wheelchair and could still be in a um, When I was nine years old, I went to Italy with my family. We had a party for my ninth birthday. You may have to face some challenges like bathing, feeding, uh, dressing. Um, but don't worry about that because you're number one, my friend, and you always be a number one. Even though I'm in a wheelchair, I can still do things in the Such as, I could play on the computer, uh, search for things such as YouTube, um, such, such as the Italian uh, songs on uh, YouTube. Sometimes I think to them, they make me happy, and, um, and other things. When I was a child, um, I used to play cowboy Indians with my brother. And the, the way I used to do it, is I used to uh, pretend that my finger was gone, and boom, he, he used to, he, my brother sat down dead and he got up and then we play, we had a good time. Some challenges I face when I live with some poverty every day are get, getting dressed. I can't get dressed by myself. I can't eat by myself. I can't. Um, I could I can't walk, walk. I can't physically walk. So that's some of the challenges that I face. How did my condition progress? It progressed in many, many ways. It progressed by, you know, moving my legs. Uh, moving my arms, you know, and over time it progressed like that. And the way I used to deal with the, my affliction was hor horrible. It was horrible because the doctors told my mother that I would be able to walk. So I, I, I had. 
I had a dream that I wanted to walk. That's why it was so hard. When I used to feed myself, I felt very uh, happy about it. But when I lost the motion to, um, to feed myself, uh, I felt very sad. I'm not concerned about anything. And the reason why I'm not concerned about anything is because when you, when you pass away, when, when you pass away, it's like, I'm not saying uh, I will pass away tomorrow, but when you pass away, it's like freedom. You, 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 your spirit, your spirit is, is, is free. Like, it, it's, it's good. Not when you pass away, but it's sad. But uh, so I don't have any concerns. If you have a, a family member with CP, I say, don't worry about it, because you can deal with this. I did, you, and you can. The high life of my life, I saw the actual set of um, Sesame Street. I was there and went to Hooper's store. That was the, the highest, that was the high, high, highest um, moment of my life. My father put me, he picked me up, put me in a chair, and let me see the counter of Hooper's store, and how they used to serve people. It was great. You know, in the future, because I learned about photography, I want to take a picture of a rainbow. I want to take a picture of the beautiful sky. I want to take a picture of my family. I want to take a picture of me. I want to take a picture of everybody that I love. I could take pictures because um, a lifestyle got me a wonderful stand uh, that I that you could clip on my left one and I could take pictures. The number one person that helped me through this all this all the all deal is my father. <laughs> he helped me very well, well. He cried with me. He wants me to win a heart because, because he knows what I'm going through.